Welcome along to another video presentation from the Computer Information Agency. My name is Robert Crane and today we'll have a look at getting started with SharePoint alerts. So what we'll be covering in this video will be the setting of alerts in the SharePoint document library as well as managing those alerts once they have been configured. So here you can see that we have our normal SharePoint site so we're going to go into our document library which over here is called Shared Documents and this is our library in which you can see a number of folders and a number of files. So what we want to do is set up a, an email notification that when changes are made to this document library will automatically receive an email. So the first thing we need to do to achieve that is to go to the Actions menu, click on that once, that will open up a pull down menu. In that menu you'll see an option here at the bottom called Alert Me. So again, just select that, and that will now take us to an area where we can configure our new alert. So at the top here, you'll notice what the alert title has been called. In this case, it is the same name as our document library, uh, and our name has been placed in the alert to whom it will be sent to. Again, if you have the appropriate rights, then you can send um, and configure alerts for other people. In the next option here under change type, you can see that we can determine when alerts are sent. So again, this has to do with the frequency. So at this stage, I want to receive an alert when all changes have been made, but I can select when new items are added, existing items are modified, when something is deleted as well. So when I've set those options, I just scroll down to view the others, and you'll see that in this option here for send alerts for the changes, I have set it by default to being anything changes. But again, there are other options here that are available, including when somebody else changes a document that is created by me. This means that rather than send, rather than receiving notifications for every single change, you can only you can set it up to receive notifications for documents that you've been working on. Finally, down the bottom, you have the option to send alerts at what time. So generally, by default, they are sent immediately. So a single alert for every um, change. But you also have the option to send a daily summary as well as a weekly. So if I choose to select a daily summary, you'll see that I can choose from which hour of the day I want that alert to be sent to me. And if indeed I choose to receive a weekly summary, then um, I can choose the day and the time. So once I've made these configuration changes and I'm happy with them, I select the OK button and that alert is now configured. As soon as the alert is configured, you should receive an email confirming that that alert has been configured on your system. So in this case, you can see that I've successfully created an alert for the shared documents library. You'll also notice inside the email, there are a number of hot links, hyperlinks that I can click on to move to different areas within this site automatically. So that's how easy it is to set up an alert on a document library. So the next thing we need to have a look at is once we've set up a number of alerts, and again, you can set up the alerts on a number of different areas within SharePoint. Um, you may need to make some changes to these at a later stage. So again, what you can do to manage these updates is simply go up to the top right where you'll see your name, pull, uh, click on that to pull down the menu, and again, you'll see that one of the options here at the top is my settings. So if I click on that, I'm taken to my specific area within SharePoint and you'll notice across the top here I have uh, an item called my alerts. So if I click on that, you'll now see that at this stage I only have the shared document alert that I've just configured. I can choose if I want to select this and then delete the alert, but you'll also notice that I can select to add an alert. So what I'll do here is I will select the option to add an alert, I will select for the alert to occur on the knowledge base that wiki that I've created. I'll go down and hit the next button. You'll now see a similar window to what we saw before. So again, the knowledge base, who the notification is set up for, uh, what sort of notification you want and when you want it. So again, I'll happy with all these defaults and I just select OK. So now that you'll see that I have the two items in my list here. So again, how do alerts work? So again, what we need to do is if we've already established an alert on a document library, what will happen is, is that when we go into our document library and, for example, 
we make a change to it um, depending on the options that you set for your alert. But in this case, I would delete uh, an item from my document library and my email alerts have been configured to automatically notify me of when these changes are made. So if I then have a look in my, email, in my inbox, you'll see that uh, in this case I would receive an email alert that looks very similar to this, basically telling me what action has been taken uh, on that document library. So again, email notifications uh, are known as alerts on SharePoint. They are configured via the actions menu, so actions and then select alert me. You'll note that you can configure a number of different options around the frequency and what sort of information that's required in each alert. And the important thing to remember is, is that alerts aren't just restricted to things like document libraries and wikis. They can also be set on calendars, for example. So in this case, I've gone to my calendar, and as you can see, I can choose an alert option there. And again, the options for this look very similar to what I said before. I'd like to like to thank you for taking the time to watch this short video from the Computer Information Agency. I'd like to also remind you about our SharePoint Operations Guide, which we believe is the most comprehensive guide on how to install, migrate and maintain Windows SharePoint. For more information, see www.wssops.com. Remember, you can always send me feedback and comments on what you've seen here today via director at ciaops.com. And please keep up to date with what's happening and additional videos as they become available via the blog supportweb.ciaops.net.au forward slash blog. Thank you very much for listening.